guys, Courtney from CD Exotics here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button. Uh, a lot of you guys that watch are not subscribed, and I would love it if you would subscribe. That way you always see my videos. I do post every Wednesday and Sunday, so make sure you tap that bell also to get notified when a new video goes up. So last video was about should you buy babies or adults, and today I wanted to do a quick video on if you should buy hats or visuals. So, you've got a bunch of money burning a hole in your pocket and you are headed to the reptile show or getting on morph market to see what you can find and you want a recessive gene but you don't know whether you should buy a visual or a het. I'm going to go over the pros and cons of buying uh, visuals versus hets and what I like to do. So um, once again, I've got my notes over here so if you see me looking, I'm just looking at my notes. So let's start with hets and some of the pros of buying hets uh, the main thing is that it's cheaper I mean it's it's way cheaper to buy a het than it is a visual depending on the recessive some of them will still be pricey you can get more codoms in your hets versus your visuals so say you have five hundred dollars to spend you could probably buy you know, a visual clown female with one a more common codom in it. Uh, but if you were to buy a head clown, you could probably buy something with three, maybe even four, um, two, pro I would say two to four codoms in it, depending on what codoms you picked. So there's kind of some differences there as far as, um, you know, what you're looking to do if you're looking to just if you just want visuals then just buy the visual but if you are looking down the road and you really want to um, expand your breeding then you need to try and buy as many codoms as possible to further your breeding projects so those were the pros of the hats my son is sitting behind the camera and he is very distracting today um, so some of the cons to buying hets are that it could be not a het. You know, you, depending on who you buy from, you might not you might not know them really well, and you just see it's a really great price, and it's got the hets you want, and so you go ahead and buy it, and now you're waiting two or three years. You breed down the road, and that het clown female doesn't produce any or any clowns, and you know you breed her again another year down the road still no ha ha clowns and then you realize that you got scammed and that she was not het so there is that problem um, so make sure when you're buying from you're buying hets that you know who you're purchasing from and you know for sure they are hets and honestly the best way to do hets is to just make them yourself um, but you need visuals to do that so that's a con Another con is when you breed hets, you can't produce a 100% het. So if you breed two hets together, you're going to get a 66% het, possible het um, animal out of that. So then you don't know whether that animal is het or not. If you breed one het animal to a non-het animal, you're going to get a 50% possible het. So that's even, even less of a chance that that animal you produced is a het. So visuals. Some of the pros of visuals is obviously that you know that's what it is. You know, it's either a visual clown or a pied or albino or whatever it is. It's a visual. You know it. Everyone knows it. There's no debating it. Um, you know, with hats, you know, some have markers, some don't. Some people say some things have markers, and they, it, you don't know. It could be a triple head, whatever and it just looks like a normal whereas you know an albino is clearly an albino or a clown is obviously a clown another pro to breeding visuals is that 
Every single baby you produce is going to be a hundred percent het for whatever gene it is you were breeding. No questions. It's a hundred percent. You breed it, it will breed true. It will always be a het, which is really the advantage of breeding uh, visuals versus hets because then you're not getting possible hets. So cost is really the only con of visuals and that's just because they're just so darn expensive but it takes a while you know especially if you start with hets you know if you started with a het male and a het female you wait your we'll say two years you breed your het and your het together you've waited two years and you get you know a couple eggs and you get lucky you get one visual okay but if you had had a you know the same amount of time to grow them up because you know they're the same um, they just look different you've got a visual and a visual you breed them together your entire clutch is going to be visuals or if you had a visual and a het half of your clutch should be visuals obviously that's not always the case you know the odds still come into play because I had eight eggs and I got one visual so don't always expect to get 50 percent because it's not always gonna happen unfortunately so those are the kind of the pros and cons of buying hats versus visuals. And my preference is to buy het females, unless there's not a huge difference between a visual and a het. Like for ghosts, a lot of times I will just go ahead and buy the visual ghost because there's not always a huge price difference with them. But anything else, like I don't have too many visual females. Um, most everything that I have is het which is a problem when you're trying to do you know double double recessive projects it does slow you down quite a bit for that but just single recessive projects um, I do go ahead and just usually buy hat females and I make sure that they usually have at least one codom if not two uh, three is amazing I don't always have that in my budget but um, I do try and get a couple codoms in there because otherwise, you know, if all I could afford was to buy a visual and a visual and I breed them together, now all I've done is make more visuals and I still have to breed them into something non-visual, make heads, if I'm trying to add codoms. So I'm kind of skipping steps a little bit as far as trying to get codoms into that recessive. Uh, I do almost always try to buy a visual male though. And males are cheaper than females, which is why I pick the male to be the visual. And also because I can breed him to, you know, three to five females and, you know, get quite a few eggs from him and kind of get more of my money's worth out of having him as the visual rather than having, you know, putting all my money into one visual female and then she doesn't breed that year. You know, now you have nothing. Whereas, you know, the male, you know you're breeding them to five females and say, you know, three of the five go or four of the five go, well, you still got quite a bit as opposed to just the one female. So that's kind of my preference. Uh, if money was not an object, then I would buy visuals just because, you know, you know what you're getting. There's no guessing games. There's no possibles. Um, that's why I do try to always have a visual male because then everything, even if I don't hit the recessive, I still have 100% het versions of it, as opposed to trying to do possible, possible hets, which I do have some of them, but I try to avoid it when possible. So that's just kind of going over some of, um, you know, my thoughts on heads versus visuals. I know a lot of people um, have a lot of differing opinions on heads versus visuals. And like I said, when you buy a hat, buy it from someone good. You know, if you buy a hat from JKR or Ozzy or Mutation Creation, you know you're getting a hat. I mean, if they're selling it as a 100% hat, you know it's a hat. If you get on Morph Market and you, you know, search by least expensive and you find someone selling, you know, a triple hat albino uh, clown pied female for 100 bucks you might want to pass on that one because that one might not be well, might not be a head 
Um, so that's kind of where you got to be super careful who you buy hats from. Um, you know, and that's uh, that is one of the main reasons, honestly, why I started this YouTube channel is because people can see the pairings that I'm doing. People can see all my clutches. You know, they can see, like, I do have visual parents, you know, so when I'm selling something as a 100% head, like, I have a visual. You know, if you are buying, you know, always ask, you know, hey, can I see a picture of the parents? Or at least, at the very least, if you don't want to ask for pictures, um, you know, at least get on their Instagram or their social media and look through their stuff or look through their other animals they're selling on Morph Market and make sure, like, they do have visual stuff because if they're trying to sit there and sell you know triple head albino clown pides and they don't even own a pied you know red flag going up so just be careful who you buy from um you know and if you're not comfortable don't buy it you know you, you you're buying a head especially a baby and you're waiting two, three, sometimes even four years to see if that animal proves out, you know, and, and odds are not always in your favor. The animal might be hit, and you might just have really bad odds and not hit something that first year. Well, now you're four or five years into the project, you know, hoping that it's a hit. I mean, that's, that's a long time. So just be careful who you buy from. You know, if all else fails and you have the money, buy the visual just remember that you know if you buy you know two visual clowns all you're going to produce is clowns you still have to breed into an you know something else with codoms so you're still extending the project quite a bit because now you have to make your own hets and then you have to breed those hets back and now you're no longer at 100 percent het so your odds are, are, are a lot worse that's all i've got for today um, I will, I'm not sure what my Wednesday video is going to be, but I will be at Hamburg next week, and I'm super excited about that. I'm planning on getting a really nice long video like I did for Repticon, uh, and I'm hoping to see, I know the vendor list looked like there was definitely going to be some different people than have been at Haverty Grace, so, uh, hopefully I can get some really nice footage and, uh, get a really good video for you guys. So I will see you guys next time.